Carry on. Back to Rolling Loud, man. <laughs> Rolling Loud happened in New York City this past weekend at City Field in, in, in what looked to be a beautiful turnout uh, yeah. with a really what seemed to be really, really good lineups. Yeah, and the, the crowd looked less annoying. In New York, yes. I feel like every, let's, let's mention that. That's important. Yeah, it just didn't look as like I would hate to be there the way it had in Miami and other places. I was like, wow, that's a place I'm never going to. It looked funner. Yeah. Thank you, Scream Man. <laughs> it looked like, you know what it was? The energy was a little different as far as like the the kids that were there. Like they were actually, even if they didn't know the record, they were having a great It was time. still a young crowd, but it didn't look as super, super like that was the only demographic that was there that was like 14-year-olds. Well, there yeah. was a pretty diverse musical uh, talent there. Like, there was a lot of, you know, West Side Gun, Conway, it's Davies. There's a lot of, like, people that maybe refer us mature hip-hop yeah, fans. Yeah, I, I will T, say, I think Rolling Fat Loud Joe. did a really good job of making Jim it a, a New Jim York Jones. festival. Like, yeah. a headline time, so they I, give I them the bullshit give, slots. I've shit on Rolling Loud a lot. I have to give them some credit with that line of making it yeah. a New York show. Megan still. came out, right? Yeah, blue shoes there. Yeah, sure. ASAP brought out fifty. That was dope. Uh, that dope. was beautiful. Yeah, ASAP was there. He brought fifty. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's dope. Yeah, a lot of them shits looked really, really, really good, man. Um, so shout out, shout out to the to people that threw that event. That was great. Uh, five acts were banned. Yes. Really? Who? That was Casanova, <clears throat> Don Q, Pop Smoke, uh, Chef G, and Twenty Two G's. G's. I'm not familiar with 22G. I'm not familiar with Chef him G. or Chef G, really. Uh, 22G's uh, is from Brooklyn. Yeah, I believe. from Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. And it looks like the New York City Police Department emailed Rolling Loud. Dear Sir Madam, the New York City Police Department requested the below listed individuals be removed from performing at the Rolling Loud Festival taking place at City Field on Saturday, October 12, 2019. And Sunday, October 13th, 2019, due to public safety concerns. Uh, the above listed performers have been affiliated with recent acts of violence citywide. The New York City Police Department believes if these individuals are allowed to perform, there will be a higher risk of violence. End quote. Gentlemen, what do you guys think of this? Were these That's guys. Bullshit. It is bullshit. Were these guys supposed to have. Uh, well, why sets? Uh, so Pop, Pop Smoke was on. He was definitely on the he actual had a set. lineup. I don't yeah. think all of them were, though. I'd but, be surprised if Casanova wasn't on. He was. He should have had a set. What do you pop, guys, pop smoke included. What do you yeah, guys true. think of <laughs> Rolling Loud saying that if these gentlemen did have a set, that they don't have a set? We don't have to guess whether they had a set or not. <laughs> they were well, coming it's, out. It's and then important. They are they supposed to, to be out. guests or are they supposed to have yeah, sets? That's what we were trying to. That's all I'm saying. Defer from. Like I don't think Don Q had a set, but he may have shown up. Yeah, but to I, be on I, someone else's. Still, it, either way, out there is is bullshit. Absolutely. Like, what do you mean they're for public safety concerns? Like, so if it, these gentlemen walk out in the middle of Times Square, that's not a public safety concern? That's the public. Like, it just doesn't make sense. It it's makes like, no sense. Cut it out. I agree. It's an attack 100%. on hip-hop. Obviously, you don't want these gentlemen to build their brand. Right. Like, how do you want these kids to, if they did something two years ago before they were nobody, now they're somebody, like, let them move on with their life. Like, it's just stupid. Gotta be Republican, Joe. Oh, come on, Joe. <laughs> Give it to him, Joe. But well, you and your dad had like a Republican, so it makes sense. <laughs> Very, That's insulting. You, and, been hurtful. <laughs> That's in, and you laughed when I told you. No, I let the therapist I'm sorry, know. man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm working on I that. let the therapist know. <laughs> yeah, that he laughed when I told him how I felt. Um, I just don't get, y'all are always so dismissive to the other side of the coin. That's not true. Y'all don't see any way where this could be a public safety concern? No. No, not really. I think that there's plenty of other artists up there that have, you know, violence in their music which or may a, have violent backgrounds. Which is a backgrounds. new conversation. That's a new conversation. And, okay. I'm down, and I'm down to have that one as well. Okay. Because you're right. You're going to always be right in that. In the case of these five gentlemen, though, uh -huh. if the police have some information about... Especially coming off of this Takashi trial bullshit. Uh, if the police have some information that say that these five individuals may have smoke with some other niggas who may come to this concert to handle said smoke at a public setting, why wouldn't that be considered uh, exactly what they're saying? Like, why because would y'all be dismissive this, to because that? Because there's police and security at these events. Well, which means what? Which that, means that, that, it, that how much of a how much of a threat to the public safety can it be? With police and security backstage, like, oh, come on! I'm just asking you, how much of a threat can it be? 
Well, the police would be saying in this instance, and boy, I hate taking this side of the, uh, this you, side of the argument. Joe, you know exactly what this is. It's an attack on hip hop. They don't want these gentlemen to move on with their lives. They want to keep reminding them that your past, we still know what you were part of, what you did. Even if it doesn't hold any criminal charges, we know who you were affiliated with. So we don't, we're going to keep reminding you that we're on your ass. I just want to tell you, as one of the rapper <clears throat> niggas that have like, I've never been in the gang, I've always like tried to. But you've had the police to, intervene with your live oh, performances. Yes. Did yeah. it, were you a threat to public safety? No. I want us to compartmentalize I think, here. Because, no, I think, I think yes. so. What you're saying is the, the point of view of the police. Yeah, a lot of these guys on that list have been on the internet or their friends have been on the internet saying that they may have beef with each other and the cops take things very literal and to and face I'm not, value. And I'm so, not even yes, talking... I can see the cops doing that, but, but what no, no, I'm no, no, saying no, no. is but to just they're to not going to do that. Because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if, if the cops are privy to information that we do not have, so I'm not talking about if they saw some clips on the on the internet of if niggas uh, said, yo, I'm, when I see you, it's on. I don't care about that. Well, no, this isn't privy to information that they have that the public doesn't have. There is some public tension between the people on that list to some degree. Oh, see, I don't so, know anything about that. I'm speaking so, from the standpoint of not knowing anything about the people on that list. Not everyone on that list, other. but certain people on they that list smoke with each other. have had some pub- just certain people on that list. We don't have to, to promote that or get into that, but certain people on that list May have had words before. I'm saying, and what I think more oh, well, is saying wait, too wait, is, wait, 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 wait. Is they not going to do that? I want y'all to then? answer to that. Wait, stop. Because I didn't know that when I was saying all this. And if that's true, then I would like Parks and Maul to speak to that. Because to me, that would sum that up in a heart <laughs> in a heartbeat. Joe, listen. What do they mean the threat to public? If you had Rolling Loud and we're in the audience, if niggas beside us start fighting. What's the difference if an uh, artist backstage right. is fighting another artist? Like, how much of a threat to, to the people in the audience is that? It's more of a, in my experience, the bigger beefs have come as an audience member than backstage. The more dangerous beefs, I should say. Like, is it, I'm in danger just being in this, the, this fucking crowd and this kid's it's, drinking and somebody might start fighting. Like, shit, I I, got, whatever's going on backstage is not going to affect me. How? I almost got trampled at the Roots picnic and there was no... Beef or gunshots or anything. This like, is what I'm saying. Well, well, about if niggas you got me really against the roots crowd. Just, just, the, just, the other, just the other year at Summer Jam, we saw a, a, a redacted person robbed on stage by a redacted person. <laughs> this don't necessarily always happen backstage, Maul. Yeah, but did, did that affect anybody in the audience? Not that day, no. I've also been to Summer Jams where redacted person threw a whole bunch of shit on stage at redacted <laughs> person, and that did leak over until afterward, and T- niggas, niggas had it on them, and niggas was really about that action back so, then, and they didn't have enough manpower to stop it. So, they didn't have enough man at Summer Jam. So, so, with that being said, it doesn't matter if you let these acts perform or not. Mo, you are from the Bronx. If there's you a problem, can't tell me that you don't understand. <laughs> if one of these niggas got beef with one of these niggas, and me. I see you at the event, you talking about this with each nigga's other. name is Pop Smoke. But listen, I'm saying, <laughs> right, don't do that. Don't, no, 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 you talking about now, Fam, that's some real repu- you talking about artists that. yeah, yeah you talking about artists fighting each other all of these niggas have initials in their names <laughs> <laughs> wait yo no don't look, do that Don, what is the Q stand? Quincy that's a, that's a bad proper name 22 G's <laughs> Casanova's trunk is bulletproof <laughs> So there should be no issue. Cass has no not been issue. arrested since 2007. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 what, 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 what trouble has Casanova been in the, yeah. the recent years? Cass is on a press and wait, and wait, and wait. I don't want to fight anyone. Word. Cass is on a whole it's press run now, Joe. Joe. No, wait, no matter Leave how you slice it, Joe, it's bullshit. No, Rory, that's how you interpret the Cass press run. <laughs> how some other niggas interpret the I, Cass I, press run don't need, even, need, even need to be stated here, but it's not that way. <laughs> It's a different way. Uh, what I'm saying is, you know what that is. Come on. Maul, I'm, let me make my point clear. Okay. Because I agree with you two. Okay. I okay. agree with you two that the police target niggas. Right. And in most of the instances, it's not fair at all. Right. That's all I'm saying. But the New York Police Department in particular mm-hmm. that have had niggas try to shoot shit up in Times Square... <laughs> That have had niggas get caught with 97 ratchets in Times Square. That have caught niggas trying to transport whatever from here to Times Square. Like if there's one police department, I could have told you niggas, hey, at City Field, hey, shit gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a great time. Know why? 
Because as a nigga that have tried to do dirt over there, I know how they giving it up over there. And that's what I'm saying about you, Maul. You know that by City Field mm -hmm. in New York, mm -hmm. with all of the shit that niggas have been doing in New York, it's like, yes, cops target niggas. Mm -hmm. Is this a case of that? Or is this yeah. the niggas trying to protect themselves because of all the fuck shit that has happened in New York? No, this is cops. Could cargo. they afford for something to happen at fucking City Field at Rolling Loud? Hey, this is the same Rolling Loud that something just happened at. Mm -hmm. So let's not talk like, hey, there's so much credibility here. But that's what but, but niggas that's, just got popped on in Miami. Do y'all think the cops don't know none of this? That's, listen, let's be against the cops, but I mean, some of this shit we could get. But, but Joe, that's what I'm saying when they say a threat to. As a safety. rapper that goes to these shows. Boy, do I get mad when there's two rappers there that got beef with each other backstage. That's fair. Because y'all could potentially turn this whole shit upside down. And I will say, as, as someone that's performed and been at a lot of these festivals, when there's extra good security, I am happy about it, even if they give me a hard time. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm just speaking to them trying to say no, festival for public thorough. safety. Yeah. That's the bullshit bar, because yeah. it's not about the public safety. Because there's no way to ensure the public safety. Like I said, if there's if there's people that in the in the stand, in the audience that want to start fighting, like Park said, yeah. at at the at the Roots picnic, something happened. People just started running. People got trampled. And that had nothing to do with artists that was on the stage. There's no way for you to stop those things from happening. So don't say that it's for the public safety. Say that we think that some of these artists have an issue with each other, and we don't want them in the same room because they might clash. Well, say that, but don't say don't, don't try to make it seem like we're, we're protecting the public. Insane, no, insane. Well, that well, y'all kind of answered my some, other question. To some degree, more. I think, yeah, I think the cops only really care to protect the little white kids that'll be there because I don't think they do that when both of these gentlemen are in Brooklyn. I don't think they give a fuck. I think they only give a fuck when they have I half totally, of Long Island. I disagree. There. I, I think they that. do it to protect. I think I think the cops know everywhere the Casanova is, every, every everywhere that he goes. I think that they, I think they watch every Casanova the interview. I think they do it to protect. No. I think they're doing all this shit to protect City Bank interests. City well, Bank of course, no, of and Barclays of insurance or whatever the fuck Barclays is. Like they're they're not. This is not from public safety. This is protecting corporate interests. And they're That's doing what's it to, And they're doing it to ensure these artists that we are still on your ass. Like we still watching y'all. That's what it's about. We still watching y'all. We can stop y'all from performing and getting money and building your now brand. That, I don't, we that, that I don't think is fair at all. While I am arguing on the on the side of the police here because I'm a sucker ass nigga and we do a <laughs> podcast, so I got to play devil's advocate at some point. I don't think any of this is fair. Uh, these gentlemen, you know, and that's my thing with the the broader conversation about the attack that the music industry is under, but. We have yet to have that, but this is right in line with that. Like, y'all watch niggas. It's like, it's like y'all just keep tabs on niggas that try to make a better way for themselves and their families. Mm -hmm. And then when that percentage gets higher than you think it would have ever possibly been, because niggas is anomalies and niggas is breaking all types of barriers, you snatch them. And, and it's like, only in our culture, it. right? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure rock artists and country artists have beef. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. never send letters like this. Right. I'm so. sure some of them white boy rappers be wild. Those yeah, country absolutely. festivals are the scariest shits on earth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I mean, that's where the biggest <laughs> uh, concert violence I think has happened in absolutely. the United States Hell history. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I might be freestyling, but I don't think there's anything quite like that shit in Vegas. Well, I'm not going to put that to the country music scene because some unstable, crazy white guy shot a bunch of people from a window. I'm saying the, the crowd that the country music crowd brings out is a very rowdy and violent and crazy crowd. And it's very dangerous when you're sitting at a, a country music festival. Yeah. That's all. See, a lot of that shit happens just because people refuse to update certain shit. If you're having a big fucking music festival outside the hotel, I'm checking everybody that's coming in the hotel. I am. Yeah. 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 That, that, that just and like I, think, uh, I think that was a lot of, the, not to go back to that, but I think that was a lot of the argument of it. Like, fam, you're in a hotel in Vegas. Right. There's cameras everywhere. How is no one monitoring what's going on? Could you go to Vegas to not be monitored? <laughs> There's more cameras in Vegas than the White House. That's why Tyler Perry built his own White House. <laughs> that's, that's, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah. Take that. Nah, I think it's <laughs> fucked up, man. These dudes really wanted to perform. How are you not going to let Don Q perform? Pop Smoke, I got one of the biggest songs. Right. 
biggest records uh, of the summer, damn near. How you not yeah. going to let him perform at City Field? I Casanova think just dropped a great album. What a great album, man. Yeah. His album was so good, I put it in my Insta story. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't ask me to do that. He, he didn't pay me. That wasn't an ad. I was just yeah. vibing. Like, oh, shit, all right. right. Let's go then. That's a good project. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, real good project, man. That was... That was fucked up, but uh, outside of that stain, outside of that uh, one isolated stain, I didn't I didn't hear any other bad news from Rolling Loud. Shout out to the people that threw Rolling Loud. Uh, did Travis Scott tweak his ankle or some shit? He got injured on stage. I don't like, saw something. His knee up or something. It seems like he probably like, would do that at a lot of shows because he'd be climbing and no, jumping like his, off of his, shit. He collapsed. Like, his he fans are making it sound fucking... like he had a compound fracture and then put the bone back in his knee, tied it up, and kept performing. No, his, I mean, his, they was his leg gave shit. out. It looked like it broke. Okay. I thought it broke. They'd be going hard on his shit, so I'm not surprised. Well, he'd be, he'd be hope, climbing up Hopefully shit, he'll be fine down. speedy recovery. But he'd be... Them shows look wild. Well, he's a rock, he's a rock star. Yeah. So you know, you know what his energy is. Yeah, wow. no, his, yeah, like you can tell the way he felt, like his leg completely gave out. I shit. thought he broke his shit. But. Yeah, he ain't gonna leave no Kardashian and not break none. <laughs> that was his Lamar Odom. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm in the hospital. He kept Wait, doing the show. Are you with whores? Did you did you do crack? Nah, I, just, I crack ah. I cracked my knee. I thought he'd do like you know like the uh like the um like the gay music scene like they do this thing called Vogan and they do this move where they like they just fall. I thought that's what he was. I thought he was in that bag when he did when he okay. fell like that because that's what okay. it looked like. So let me get this straight. <laughs> For real, look. I, I thought it was a move. I thought I was like, okay, he pulled that out of his bag. So you thought that Travis? I did. Scott it. Was Vogan? Was Vogan like from the gay music scene? Where I they, thought, where yeah, I thought fall. that's what he was. I thought that that's so what that's, he was on. I didn't know. Was, Hitting them with on the stage. Yeah, look at it. It looks just yo. Y'all laughing. Y'all also, trying to make right, jokes. No, we, it looks nah, exactly. We gonna like move that. on. It's cool. Okay. No, it's it's <laughs> I think, cool. I think from now on we should just have Maul explain every progressive thing out there. Yo, no, there's this thing. No. There's a thing in the in the gay shit they be doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that's. It's, that's, it's called it's called voguing. That's they shit. Well, we know move. what voguing is. Yeah. That's they move. No, no, we got it. Okay. No, we got. Listen, so. Cardi and, Cardi and Offset <laughs> took a little anniversary trip this weekend. Wow. <laughs> Tell us your favorite well, I'm vacations. Not, I'm though. not. I'm just getting this off of all, man. I'm just Why? This, no, no reason. No, 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 no chill. Okay. Chill, chill out. Uh, all right. What else, what else happened that, that we need to break down? Uh, um, considering, considering that nothing really, like, nothing really groundbreaking happened, uh, with the exception of the Fort Worth murder of the young lady in her apartment. We are going to get into that. But 40 minutes in, I don't want to get so sad. We will touch that. Let's do something and let's let's do this podcast in reverse. All of this shit that don't matter at all, let's discuss it. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. That's my favorite let's talk, stuff. Let's, let's yeah. do that stuff first. The yeah. meaningless stuff. Okay. So now... <laughs>